Hello, everybody. Welcome to Indigo Terra Odyssey. How is everybody? Woo, what a spread we have here. We have the High Priestess, the Hanged One, and the King of Cups. This is a lovely combination. And as with these two, we get to pause for a moment and we're like, okay, what's my expectation, right? Versus the possible reality, which is I would like to do A, B, and C. I would like to, you know, complete task, proceed in whatever versus what we can do if we are truly doing our best, not pushing ourselves to extreme, not trying to overtax our nervous system by making too many plans, appointments, etc. right? This is knowing what is best for us and good for us, good for our heart, our soul, keeps us happy, keeps us upbeat, is a healthy attribute to our mood like calm and confident and normal mood fluctuations and if we are racing the clock and thinking we need to task 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 that's not life that's not joy that's not uplifting you know that is just oftentimes in survival mode people do that it's like i just need to keep busy busy but it's like what what are we busy doing are we doing things that are fulfilling and uplifting I find some of my best moments is when I just like stop everything and I gauge where I am emotionally, where I am physically, and where I, what, what I want to go on to. You know, it's like if I feel that I am fatigued, I want to stop and read something that's uplifting and joyful or listen to a tarot read or a TED talk or something that's going to help me. It's all sort of like the circle of influence throughout the day, right? We want this. We want to make sure our cup is full. We're enthusiastic. We're paying attention to our emotions and we're not letting the pendulum go too far in either direction. You know, that kind of manic thing that can occur either. Sometimes this happens with me when I'm shopping. I'll look at myself in the, you know, I'm, I'm planning for a trip right now. So when I'm gathering things, sometimes in the impulse lane, that last lane, I find myself like touching everything. That's that lack mentality like, oh, I'll never be in a store again or I'll never have this opportunity to buy this whatever. Dog brush or dog bones are there. It's the craziest stuff. And then it's like slow it all down because when we are truly present, we know we can make time for whatever is important to us and whatever matters. We are letting go of stress. We are letting go of regrets. We are letting go of mistakes. And we're not distorting things into we have to do this. We must do this all of those kind of things that make us feel that we're under some kind of pressure for no reason. You know, I feel signs that we're healing is you feel comfortable expressing your needs and your feelings and your emotion, more self love, no self sabotaging, and we accept support when we need it. And we break old patterns. I just recently did this for myself and I feel so much better. I had a terrible late night habit of just like munching and eating snacks while I was watching shows instead of, you know, crafting and making jewelry. And it was like that kind of thing is not conducive to really great stomach health or anything like that. And I just watched the show and I felt like it was divinely brought to me. And again, I've talked about this and I just love it so much. And as you are what you eat, the twin experiment, and it just talks about, honestly, our, our moods and our mindset and our mental sharpness and our physicality are so innately tied into what we put into our bodies, what's nutritious, what's good for us, as opposed to processed junk that is just empty and makes us have those big swings, right? Of fatigue. I used to like, woo, let me get caffeinated for more energy and basically boom what's going to happen you're at the top of that hill you're going to zoom down to the bottom i just really paused and took a look at it and i looked deeply and i was like why do i do this and it was as simple as it, it is just habitual it is a pattern you started how about making it a pattern you break now what can you put in that cup that makes you feel better making jewelry talking to friends really doing wonderful layouts for my clients things of that nature so this is also about setting and maintaining boundaries for yourself and others. And it's definitely about more responding and less reacting. Because if our cup is full and we're looking out for ourselves, we're not going to be reactive. We're going to recognize, oh, when that person says something that's off or low vibration, we don't have to react to that. That's their problem. That's their energy. That's their view on things. We don't have to 
like I, I see sometimes like we can have a magnetized like mantle and we don't need to take that magnet and stick it on our mantle and make it heavier. It's like I attribute a lot of times people's reactivity to triggers and a lot of things can trigger people when they're not you know doing these things and looking out for themselves when we feel raw when we feel tired when we feel a little insecure that is when it really hits the target even more and can cause reactivity so to protect ourselves i, I say a mantra every day most things what everybody says is a projection of how they feel about themselves nobody just lashes out and says crazy mean or off kilter things because they're happy and joyful in their life so then i apply compassion to that nobody would say something so crazy if they were in a good headspace so they're obviously feeling pain of some degree so then we employ compassion with that we kind of just protect ourselves by going you know they need to do some work so i will distance myself from them whatever it is and this is about getting excited for the future and knowing that all the possibilities are there for you I am having so many wild synchronicities for some of the things that I want to do and accomplish and new clients are coming in and, and just really exciting prospects on the writing front for um, this show that I was writing, all of these things. And it is because I don't feel rushed. I don't feel like I have to prove myself. I feel like I am doing the inner work. And also it's, it's, what I want to do and I want more of that for you for you to do the things that you want to do that bring you joy that fill that cup that get you excited for life and remember it's the fun merry steps on the way to the accomplishment that are just as joyful as well right it's like think about field day when you were a kid we used to have these things where we all get together and have races and all these fun things the whole week prior to that was like just an exceptional time who was going to be a partner what were you going to do what were you going to wear all of these things what's the weather going to be enjoy the journey towards the goals as well because they can be just as wonderful remember more self-love no self-sabotaging that is what you are meant to hear today i hope you all have a great day love and light